Pressing start pops up a menu in the middle of the screen. So I press start, and now we access the menu system. To access all the other features of PSP Seek, you'll need to open the menus. Uh, and you can do this either when you're in the sequence or in the transport. Uh, in general, all menus and submenus are navigated the same way. You press the D-pad up or down to move between menu options. Uh, so I'm pushing down on the D-pad and up on the D-pad to go between different menu items. Um, press X or right on the D-pad to access the submenu. Press O or left on the D-pad to go back in the menu. And pressing Start exits the menu system entirely and returns control to the uh, step sequencer. The, uh, the main menu has seven options. There's System, Tempo, Track, Loop, Song, Config, and Synth. I'm going to go through all these items in detail, starting with System. So within System, press right on the D-pad. Now I've accessed System, and now I can see the list of menu options uh, within System. Uh, new starts a new song. This erases all synthesizer and sequencer data. After selecting new, a list of all synthesizer groupings are given to start a new song. So now I'm going to select new. And this brings up a new list, uh, where the first five options uh, are preset groupings with different generators and effects. So 808-ish, Melody, No-Fi, Old School, and Wispy. These are all uh, preset lists of uh, instruments available in PSP Seek. Um, the first time that PSP Seek is loaded, it brings up the 808-ish um, instrument listing automatically. That's what we've been working with so far uh, in the program. The last four options hold custom synthesizer groupings. Selecting one of these brings up another menu where you construct the list of generators and effects for each track. So I'm going to select uh, custom 3 in this case. So it's asking me to confirm that I really want to do this. So uh, there are a lot of cases of this in uh, PSP Seek where you're given a yes no question. In order to change from yes to no, you push up or down on the D-pad. So I'm going to say yes, and then press X. Uh, so now we have the, the, the list of all uh, instruments for, uh, the, uh, for the custom three grouping. And uh, so the last line, it says LD, and then it has a number. Um, and this is the overall processing load from all tracks. Each generator, in effect, has a processing cost associated with it. Uh, unfortunately, in PSP Seek, um, the PSP is not fast enough to handle any combination generator effects, so it's necessary to be aware of the total processing load of each track. Uh, the value at the bottom of the screen must be less than 100, or PSP Seek won't allow the, syn the synthesizer list to be created. So in this case, it's 98.4, so we could load uh, this set of generators and effects into PSP Seek. Uh, to navigate around the custom synthesizer list, press the D pad up or down. So down and up. And uh, and then if you push up from the first track, it brings you to one track below the last initialized track. Uh, you can only add new tracks at the end of the list, and um, it needs to be uh, adjacent to the last uh, already defined track. And so if I push down when I'm accessing the, the 14th track, it brings me back up to track zero. Uh, to change the synthesizer at the selected location, hold uh, the triangle button and press up or down on either the D-pad or, or the analog pad. Uh, this cycles through all synthesizer options. So now I'm holding triangle and pushing down with the analog pad and pushing up with the analog pad. You can see that I'm changing the uh, synthesizer that's loaded into track zero. And uh, you can also see at the bottom of the screen that the loading also changes uh, based upon which generator and effect is being loaded in. Uh, to delete a synthesizer from the list, go to the end of the list and press the square button. So now I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to push square. And the 13th track went away and the load went down. It's only possible to delete a synthesizer from the end of the list. Um, pressing X causes PSP Seek to reset the sequencer and load 
um, that synthesize a list, as well as save the list of synthesizers for this custom preset to a file called custom.psi. This way you can get access to this list of synthesizers again by going back to the custom 3 option under new. Uh, pressing O cancels the entire operation returns control back to the sequencer. It's also possible to add and remove synthesizers at any point in the creation of a loop or song, and we'll see how to do that when I talk about the synth uh, menu uh, within the menu system of PSPSeq. So I'm going to um, press X and I'm going to load this in. So now you can see that all of the instruments on the left-hand side have changed, and uh, everything else within the sequencer has been, uh, been erased. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the menu system and show you the next option, which is load. Uh, load uh, loads a new PSPSeq data file. Um, so I select load, and now I have a list of all songs that are available. All PSPSeq files end with the .seq extension and are stored in the seq subdirectory. Selecting load brings up a box with a list of all available seq files to load. Up to eight seq files are displayed at a time. If you press the D-pad up or down, then that cycles through the list. Uh, you can also uh, hold triangle and press the digital pad up or down to jump eight files at a time. So when you have a lot of songs created, it makes it a lot easier to actually go through the list. So you can go through and select different songs. Uh, if you press O or the D-pad left, you exit the load menu. Um, songs made in earlier versions of PSPSeq are not compatible with PSPSeq 3.01. If you try and load a song from an older version, uh, PSPSeq might crash. Uh, let's load uh, the song hs00.seq. So I'm going to select that by pressing X. And now you can hear the song is playing. After loading the song, control returns to the step sequencer, and the current file name is filled in at the top of the screen. Uh, PSPC comes with a number of sample loops and songs that you can listen to for inspiration and see what the program is capable of. If a seek file is a full song and you want to hear the full song, you must go to the transport to set PSPC into song mode. Uh, HS00 is in fact a full song, and the exact steps required to uh, load a full song are the following. So first of all, you press uh, select to enter the transport, and then um, what you would do is uh, you would stop the sequencer. Now you're hearing this horrible noise right now because this is running on the PC. You don't hear this on the PSP. So quickly, I'll go over to uh, loop and select song uh, by pressing up on the D-pad, and then I will press H to reset the sequencer. And now I'm going to push up again to start the song again. So now we're starting from the beginning. So I'll let this play for a moment. So, uh, so this gives you an idea of, just a very quick idea of what uh, songs can sound like in PSPSeq. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, enter loop mode again, because I want to go back to the menu system, and I want to, uh, to get rid of the song right now. So I'm going to go press start, and then select system, select new, and then select 808-ish. And I'm going to confirm that I want to uh, get this preset, and push X. And now the song has gone away, and we're back to a clean sequencer slate. 